What is up guys, welcome to another video. It is a little bit of a different one because I will be vlogging the entire thing by myself. I'm currently on a solo mission to Marbella. No camera crew, no friends, no peng ting by my side. It is literally just me relaxing, catching up with work and enjoying one last week in Europe before I go back to Dubai. Whoa, check out the friggin' views, mate. You know I'm a sucker for a good view. Uh, when I was looking at places to stay in Marbella, there's actually a lot of good choices to choose from. A lot of modern apartments and villas. I'll give you a quick tour of the apartment. We have a pretty sizable balcony, sitting area there. We've got some tables there. We've got also two tanning beds over there. Inside, <coughs> We have, uh, is a pretty big modern living room. Kitchen, which will, well, can't really see it getting used much, especially if we see the state of the fridge. Oh, dearie me, we have, we literally have some berries, an emergency pack of chicken, water, a pack of broccoli, and some milk. It's not very good, is it? But. I'm probably gonna be eating out a lot. We have one toilet here. We have one bedroom there. We have another bedroom here, which is currently storing my stuff. Cool little storage area here for the main bedroom and the main bedroom itself, which is pretty nice. Bathroom is very modern. Rate it. I would realistically say one of the biggest chunks of my expenses is travel accommodation particularly when i'm staying in hotels and airbnbs some people would say it's probably a little bit excessive however i do derive a great amount of joy at staying in nice places when i travel i think it massively enhances the experience and it also gives me a lot of inspiration and ideas for the future homes which I will purchase later on in life. Like I'm literally so picky now when it comes to the house, which I buy, it has to tick all of the boxes. So now we are going to get some breakfast down in San Pedro, I'm very hungry. And then we're gonna go to the gym. Bosh! Oosh. Oosh. Right then. I must say, this is a pretty cool garage. I mean, the good thing about this place is uh, there's actually a massive space for this apartment. Usually, I don't know why it always seems to be the case in Spain. They have allocated the tiniest car parking spot per apartment block, which absolutely sucks, but this is, this is great. In case you couldn't already tell, this is the whip of choice. Well, I didn't really have much choice. I just went to the uh, airport and said, please may I have a convertible car? And they had this one available. It's the BMW, I don't know, 420i. Last time I was here, I did rent the Z4. That was quite cool. Overall, thoughts initially on this car is very pleasant. It's very smooth, which is quite a good thing because I've noticed in Marbella, the roads have uh, some unexpected potholes and quite a lot of speed bumps. So uh, this car takes it with ease. Uh, it's very quiet. Even when I rev it, it doesn't really make a sound. It just kind of goes which is, uh, I don't know, I miss, I miss the roar. When I'm driving a car, I want to hear it growl when I'm accelerating. It's going to be a weird world when everyone's driving electric cars. I'm all for the noise, to be honest. So we have just parked up at San Pedro. I'll pretty much come here almost every day. It's like a more chilled out version of Porto Banus with less crazy people. It's got pretty much everything you could need. All the shops, or at least basic shops, restaurants and cafes. So 
I'm going to be starting my day off with some breakfast. We have a choice. We could either go to Gym Junkie IO Club or another place called South Cafe. I think today I'm fancying the South Cafe because they do a pretty mean omelette. So we are here, Elements Gym right behind me. This is, um, I guess you could say this is my go-to gym whilst I'm here. I think just because I can be focused, I can do my thing, good atmosphere, good equipment. And I feel like a lot of people that go there are pretty serious about their training, like they're not there to chat and socialize, they're just there to train, which is definitely what I'm about. So that was a very good session. Textbook push, hitting the chest, shoulders, triceps. Not much more to say. Absolutely smashed it. Shout out to my app for being unbelievably appy and showing me exactly what it is I need to do in terms of the rep ranges, the tempo, the exercise selection, and much more. I'm gonna enjoy this frothy little bastard containing, I don't know, 50, 60 grams of protein. And we'll quickly head home before we venture off once again. Oh yeah, this is what it's all about, mate. A little bit of peace and quiet to myself. I don't know what it is. I feel like as I'm getting older, I'm enjoying my own company more and more. And to be fair, I've always been like that a little bit. I am a bit of a lone wolf, a bit of a sigma male. I do enjoy my own company a lot. I recharge when I'm by myself. I get creative, I think, I reflect, I plan when I'm by myself. But, I don't know. As I get older, it's becoming increasingly more that way. I love doing these solo trips because you can literally do what you want, when you want. You don't have to wait around for anyone. You don't have to worry about pleasing someone else as well. You literally are just looking out for yourself and whatever makes you happy. So I reckon you guys should try it if you've never done it before. You never know, you might actually enjoy it. So, some much needed time on the laptop. You know, I never really show you guys me actually do any work. And that is because I actually don't do any work. Like, I, I never, ever work. <laughs> Speaking of work and businesses and clothing, this white toweling shirt is sold out unfortunately but we're gonna get some more back in stock i want a, a few other colors as well I, I feel like a black one of these would be good and i'm also going to bring out some shorts with the same material to match the tops so very exciting times also a few guys who did enroll in the five week transformation challenge which i spoke about five weeks ago it has come to an end on this very day so i am currently receiving all of your transformations over the five week period and some of them are really really impressive i'm going to put them up on the screen very proud of you guys i am going to sit down with my team i might even share with you guys uh, so that you can actually vote as i will decide a winner and the winner will get a free trip to ibiza including accommodation of my choice so you'll be basically flying with ryanair and staying in some scatty little airbnb in san antonio so, sorry guys, it was all a scam. It was all a scam! I'm only kidding. You'll have a great time because I know the best places to stay. So, I hope the winner has a tremendous time. So, now I'm gonna go head over to Real Club Paddle Gym. Now, I'm not gonna train because I've obviously already trained today. I will, however, be training somebody else. Long story short, I was out and about and these two young boys asked me for a photo, said they were big fans. Later on, they DM'd me and said if it was possible for me, to take them through a session whilst I was here and they were here. Now, I usually don't do this. I get a lot of these requests almost all the time and even those people that are willing to pay good money, I still say no because it's just something which I just don't do, but I don't have the time to do it. However, I'm feeling very generous 
I'm feeling like I'm in the mood to give back. And I feel like at this stage in my life, it is my duty to give back, to help others and to inspire others. And I think these two young brothers who are both 17 year olds who are just starting their lifting career could do with a session with someone like me who can show them the way and guide them along the right path. And hopefully it will make their day. So let's go over there, train them. And at the end of it, slap them with a massive 2,000 euro bill. Here they are. How are we doing, boys? Are you ready? Yeah, I think so. Good to see you again. Good? So today, I asked them what they wanted to train, and you chose Biceps. Triceps. Biceps and triceps. Start off with some dips. I want to see how good your dip performance is. I'm sure you know what you're doing. We just want to be coming down to this point where the elbows are like 45 degrees. If you go too low, then you start to put a bit of excessive strain on your shoulder. Okay? So we'll aim for 10, 15 reps. Three, not too deep. Who do you think has the best physique in the fitness industry? My first time. Definitely didn't pay them to say that. But let's ignore me, apart from me, who else thinks got sick of you? No, someone I think is looking good at the moment, Jesse James West. Ah, uh, yeah. He just, just had his um, competition, so yeah. he's been looking very lean for that. He's good. Yeah, shout out to Jesse, good guy. And apparently he's like 100% natural as well, which I certainly believe. What do you think is the hardest thing, or the most confusing thing about building muscle? Uh, rest, probably. The rest? What, in between the... Like how long to rest, because obviously the next day when it's aching, you know it's cold. But sometimes I don't think I give myself enough rest period. If you are sore, usually my approach is just to train another muscle group or just completely rest. Yeah. It's, it's weird because I would usually say, oh, listen to your body and you should know, but it's, I don't think at 17 or 18 you really understand your body. Like, it took me until maybe mid-20s where I started to understand, okay, this is what I should be doing and what I shouldn't be doing. Yeah, I'm just getting weights. Well. You get injuries? Yeah. From lifting weights? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is, I was just picking up injuries. So. Well, the best way to reduce the risk of injury, slow down the uh, tempo so you have more control, perfect the form, and try to don't, lift, don't lift too heavy. Because usually lifting too heavy with bad form too fast. Oh shit, yeah, it might help. Where's the jitters? I'm like, why is that piece of shit t-shirt? Where's the jitters? Look at that. That's the lovely muscle fit tee. Yeah. First logo on the back. Awesome. I uh, began with the fitness. It was small for me. Uh -huh. I was too small, so it's alright. Next thing you need is a fair short. Yeah, I, yes, I know. Yeah, I will buy them. Nice, thank, thank you. Thank you. So just finished up the session with the lads. That was pretty good actually. I do miss training people from time to time. I'm sure they thoroughly enjoyed it and I am very sure that their arms are going to be absolutely destroyed in the next few days. I think when you are starting off in your gym journey, you know, if you're 16, 17, 18 years old, it's a very important time because you need to make sure that you master the basics to begin with. Otherwise, you'll start to build up some very bad habits. And if those habits, particularly the bad ones, get stuck, it's very hard to undo them and kind of unlearn something which is incorrect and then replace it with doing it the correct way so for those people who are starting out just focus on executing the exercises as best you possibly can do don't lift too heavy because you'll just injure yourself and you simply don't need to and obviously just remember that it's going to take time you're not going to get a well built jacked physique in a matter of one or two years you know, it takes four, five, six, seven years of consistent hard work and effort. So bear that in mind. Oh yeah. Time for another devilish dip. <coughs> so what has changed now that the big man is 33 years old? Well, everything. My life is pretty much over. <laughs> Not quite. 
I do believe the opposite is true. Each year, life's been getting better and better. I'm at a point now where I don't think I could be happier with where I am, the person that I am, and the current life situation. I feel like in your 20s, you've already experimented with loads of different things. You've tried different things. You've been with different partners. You've tried different jobs. You've been to different places. You just know what you like and you just know what you don't like. So when you're at this point now, especially me in my thirties, I just do more of the things which I like and I don't do the things that I don't like. And I don't spend time with the people that I don't really want to spend time with. I would also say I'm thinking a lot more about children and becoming a father. That is something which I do want. But of course, choosing the person who I'm gonna have children with is arguably the biggest decision that I will make in my life. So I don't wanna mess that one up. I become increasingly more curious now about speaking to other men who've had kids and other men who are married and other men who have been married and eventually ended up getting a divorce. I literally am so fascinated by that and I'm trying to not make the mistakes they made and do it the way that it should be done. So I'm like a sponge at the moment, just absorbing as much information as possible. So now I'm going to have a quick snack, a delicious, tasty, exotic snack of tinned fish. I need to go on a food shop, the fridge is looking pathetic, but I did manage to pick up some tinned fish. That is like a last minute resort when it comes to just getting some protein in when I'm just really either unable to get some food or I just can't bother to make anything. It's, um, well, filites de melba. I am guessing that means tuna, meaty tuna of some sort. I will be eating it from the tin. I'm obviously, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drain the fat out of it because I don't need the, uh, the excessive oil that it comes with. Um, we don't really have anything to mix it with, so I am just gonna raw dog it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bear back it and just go all in and just get it down me. I'd rather eat this than just have like a shake or something. It was dry, it was bland, it was not great. But this is a lot of the time what I've been doing. When I've been traveling, I just need to get a hit of protein. Either a big pack of biltong or just tin fish. Now we are going to go on a little bit of a road trip only because I'm just curious to see what this gym is like. There's another spot called Oxygen Gym, which is further along the coast. So we have made it. That was actually quite a long drive, 35 minutes, which kind of seems a bit excessive going to a gym when there's literally three or four really good ones like 10 minutes away. So not a shabby gym, pretty decent. I don't think there's anything like massively wow about it, at least compared to some of the other gyms in Marbella, but it does have air conditioning inside, which is a big win for me. So if I ever come here in the summertime and there's a heat wave, I know exactly where I'll be training. But this outdoor bit is pretty cool. All the equipment is brand new. There's a pretty decent vibe inside. So there's a fly literally won't leave me alone. <laughs> Go away. So yeah, it's cool, Jim. Bit of a downside to these Spanish roads is the uh, tolls. Por Santo, espere, por favor. Por Santo, thank you for holding me up on my very smooth journey. Anytime you do a semi-long trip, you gotta pay to use the road. Whoa, look at the views. Absolutely spectacular views. You see that big mountain over there? La Concha. La Concha? One day I will climb it. 
probably a little bit too hot to be doing it this time of the year, but one day I will scale that mountain. I'll gather a little squad of people to do it and we will conquer. So we are back at the Casa after that very swift core cardio session. Oh my goodness, just admiring the view. Don't know if I've told you about the view, but... Oh! It's a pretty good view. But I understand why people live here, because it is very peaceful. And it's very scenic. I always say this, like, when I... <laughs> When I go to places when I travel, I always say to myself, oh, I could definitely live here. Oh, I could definitely live here. When I go to Ibiza, I say I could live here. When I go to Bali, I say I could live here. When I go to the south of France, I say I could live here. But I could really live here. I guess it's got kind of everything you need, but you could argue it's a little bit boring in comparison to some places you go to. It depends what you want from the place that you're living at. Oh! Anyway, that is that. I think now I'm just going to go and take all my clothes off and meditate for seven hours. No. I'm going to have a shower and then I think I'm going to go out because I know a fair few people here. So I need to have a good old catch up with them. So yeah, that is just a day in the life of me living in Marbella. Not massively entertaining, but pretty entertaining for me so thanks for watching i guess the next time you see me i'll be in dubai or maybe it won't be guess you'll have to find out bye